This is just a little mini haul video. I did grocery shopping today and I had to pick up some other things and I got this, which is hand sanitizers, just little ones. Because I teach piano and I go to my students' houses, I have to play on, you know, I demonstrate on their pianos to them. And well, kids carry lots of germs and so I usually use hand sanitizer between lessons or when you know, I always have it with me in my purse. So I had to get the small ones so I could carry them around. And this, these ones, I've had one of them before. I've also had the kind from Bath and, Bo Bath and Body Works. And I don't like those ones. Well, I guess it depends. I had one that was really nice. And then one that was so, uh, it, the two of them actually that were so strong that I, like, couldn't stand wearing them. It was just too much. But these ones are okay. Actually, I don't know. We'll see. Anyhow, let's open it up. Sticker right on. That's so sticky. What's first? Honey chamomile. Sounds interesting. It smells like soap. <laughs> Not bad. Not very strong at all. I'm sure the smell would just disappear as soon as you used it. And what's next? Cotton cherry blossom. smells the same. I probably have to like try it to smell it. But let's see. Oh no, it's very it's like it's cherry-ish, flowery. It's again very light. What's next? Black currant. It smells berry-ish. Aloe olive. Couldn't just be aloe. Couldn't just be aloe. Had to be both. Because they're both green. <laughs> That's actually, I like that. That's a good smell for a hand sanitizer. Mandarin pomelo. Ooh. Mm. It smells really chemically. Not terrible. And last but not least, coconut papaya. I can smell the coconut really strong. I got it on my nose. Mm. That's actually, yeah, it's coconutty, very smelly. I don't know if I will keep them in the box or not. I might just put them somewhere. Okay. So they have a little thing on the back. I'm going to use the aloe olive. Just peel here. First, it says directions: rub product onto hands and allow to dry. Flammable. Keep away from open flame. Avoid contact with the eyes. If contact occurs, flush with water. For external use only. Oh, it's got the same thing in French. Le tempo. 
blah, blah, blah. Medicinal ingredients. Ethyl alcohol. 62%. Upper sugar. Toronto. It's from Alberta. I'm in Canada. Hmm. I'm going to use it. I think my hands are clean, but why not test? So I usually just use a little bit like that. And get it all over the bottom of my hand. Um, oops. The alcohol is rubbing up a little bit. I don't really like using hand, you know, the automatic dispensers. I don't know if they have them sometimes at schools or in bathrooms at public places. Um, or you can just use their hand sanitizer. And it's like you push it like a soap dispenser and it dispenses it on your hand. And that always, always dispenses like this much. And then it's like you're rubbing it in forever. And it's so strong. And I guess it like really cleans your hands. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. But I've been pretty good about not catching too many germs. So it's one little step to help stop the spread. I don't, I, um, don't think it's good to use this constantly all the time, um, like say if you just had a normal job or something, um, because, you know, some germs are good, and if you only use, if you're always disinfecting everything, especially with children, then they won't build up, and you won't build up proper immunities. Because you'll just you won't be immune to anything, so you need a little a little bit of germs are okay. But I mean, I use these because I'm exposed to so many different children every day, and it just sucks getting sick often. So don't build up that. Many, I don't know. I guess it depends what you do. And like after handling money, if you're about to eat like something with your hands after right after handling money, I would suggest using this. <laughs> You can do whatever you want. I'm not a pro. And I still get sick. If you are someone who, like, is immune to everything, then please let me know your secrets. But. Um, yeah. I'll have fun with these. Bye-bye.